So now I can finally sit down and actually make a video for you guys. Now, I know that I said I've, I was going to bring a video yesterday, but honestly, the odds was just seriously not with me for this whole entire week, guys. Like, a being serious, like, a lot of things was just taking up my time for this week. Well, most of it just being freaking Christmas shots. But I do seriously hope that you guys... Uh, and my controller fucking went out. What the hell? I didn't even mean to pick the XR2! But finally, back on topic before I was really interrupted by my controller, I would like to seriously thank each and every one of you guys for dropping support over at my Obey CCRC. Like, seriously, doing that RC was one of the best things I've ever done for the channel. And he, she's dead. Oh, we could have had the devil. But amongst doing the Obey CCRC, guys, I've met a really cool friend. And, you know, have met, uh, like, a ton of you guys who have just decided to subscribe to my channel. So, you know what? Let me give a humongous shout out to, uh, it's not even humongous. I'm only 184 fucking subs. But nevertheless, let me give a awesome shout out to Obey and uh, the people over at Blue Microphones for actually producing such an amazing recruits me challenge and you know even though uh, that they have already chose like four winners when i've actually compared myself to each and, every, and like each and every one of those four winners i said to myself you know yeah we're not getting recruited anytime soon oh yeah he got that's too much so you know after a minute for the fact that i wasn't going to get inside of obey like i was a tad bit demotivated but you know then i really thought to myself i was just like i did i didn't do youtube just to focus entirely solely on the obey alliance i did it so that i can come back and entertain you guys so you know i was only demotivated for like the for like only two hours and then i saw this little um vine or this little twitter video by by like automatic this dude is freaking amazing his rap songs are just amazing i just love the way he rap i said how bad do you want it do you really want success will you settle to be average will you try to be the best you should never have stepping made just chase it as a whole they too busy chasing women while i'm not you chasing ghosts i just can't seem to stress it enough time will get hard and i know that it's rough and it will get bumpy when you on this road but never look down and you keep moving up Motivate yourself by saying nothing will be stopping you. Anything is possible and fear is just an obstacle. Chase your passion, chase your dreams. Never let somebody get in between. Haters go and talk, they talk, but you can't let them intervene. You gotta show them up. But it was pretty much a little motivational piece over the rap. Um, I think it's a uh, 10% lock 20. Like, it's that song. I cannot remember it as I'm making this video. But like, yeah, pretty much rapped his little piece over about motivation. And it gave me a lot of motivation. I'm not about to lie. That's why it's like my pin tweet for right now. But seriously, guys, but like for the past couple couple of days like since the may you like made the odds obey you has been the last video that i posted ever since you know before this video i was just busy for the matter of fact that you know christmas this time of year i swear on everything is not the time to go to the mall like i totally hate this time you know even though that christmas is the best time of the year like i love christmas don't get me wrong but i honestly hate going to the malls going to the shops going anywhere for christmas i even hate going to the barbershop i mean you know now looking at my hair and shit i probably do need a little shape but not even a shape of a full blown haircut goodness gracious but you know seriously like if you are one of those late christmas shoppers just like myself you probably by now know how irritating it is to go to the mall at this time of the year so you know i'm one of those pretty much simple basic guys you know i plan out what i want to buy before I go to the store, I then I go to the store and then I... But, you know, in the midst of me picking out my stuff and, you know, getting ready to pick out my stuff, there's always obstacles in front of me and I swear on everything. They're one of the... Like, they are some of the most annoying obstacles. You know, I could decide to go to Macy's and I want to buy, like, a perfume set, right? So I go to the fragrance aisle and I get my perfume sets. But, like, seriously, the lines are, like, extending, like, the freaking shoe line for the Concours when them things release. If you guys don't know what the Concours are, they're pretty much a Jordan shoe line and when them things release, like seriously like this is not even an accurate representation but this is the store like this is probably where the line ended and let's say that that holds about a hundred like hundreds of people trying to get one pair of shoes oh and i forgot to mention to you guys i'm like well i think i forgot to mention to you guys i finally got diamond and jigs and you know what let me insert the clip in right now we just ran up oh shit back up wait hold on he, wait hold on he's gonna come through bitch haha <laughs> there we go ladies and gentlemen there we go golden camel and diamond and jigs yes so yeah, this is probably like this is like my third or fourth time recording this video, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. It's just been a tragedy trying to record this video. But either way, the lines are always long around this time of year. Like seriously, if you want to just go regular shopping, don't even do it because you're gonna be like a 90% of the people and just end up, you know, dropping the just dropping your merchandise and just leaving the store. Next thing is that you got the people that legit don't know what to buy in the stores like they're like they're either getting in your way while you're trying to get to what the, like the exact product you want or like this is probably the most set line whenever you're going through this excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me 
like I'm serious, as I'm walking through the store, it is like packed sardines in there because of the fact that people don't know. I, I just slapped them in the back. What? But seriously, people don't know what they want to buy, and that literally irritates the god out of me. Next thing in line is that you have those type of peoples that will not get anything unless the coupon freaking works. Like there was this one lady who was trying to get a coupon off of clothing with a fragrance coupon. And she argued that this is an item on the coupon when it clearly says fragrance. So unless if you're not like me and then probably the 10,000 other people behind me that are trying to buy this perfume product, I need you to exit out the line. But needless to say, you know, we just have people who just needs to be hooked on fucking phonics. Like seriously, she, she could not read that it said fragrance, perfumes, like cologne, something. But you know, that's just the world that we live in today. People just don't want to read. You know, reading is fundamental. Let me tell you guys that right now.